Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this is my first cool little video where I get to announce that I finally reached 100 subscribers. It took me 10 years, <laughs> but I finally got there. Um, yeah, so if you are new here and you don't know, I am the author of The Girl Behind the Glass, which is a dark retelling of Snow White, and Steel Princess, which is a slightly futuristic YA fantasy with a pirate adventure, and robots, giant king of, kingdom of robots, um, and lots of magical, you know, they're both very fairy tale inspired books. Um, I have my first ever um, convention <laughs> event on Saturday next week. And Sunday, I'll be going as well, but um, I have my stall actually on the Saturday, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so if you don't know, I have recently posted videos about this, so if you've been watching my videos recently, you will have seen um, I have announced it, and I did a Authors in Con Conversation video, um, which is my most, most recent video, with um, a couple of lovely authors that will be there with me on Saturday um, because we've all been chatting I've been trying to get in contact with as many of them as I can and get conversations going ready for when we um, are at the event together it's going to be amazing um, so for those of you guys that don't know Yelk or Young Adult Literature Convention is like it's probably the biggest convention for young adult fantasy but not sorry fantasy for uh, the young adult genre. It could be fantasy, but it could also be other like different genres, but for the young adult um, literature, you know, side of the world, um, the bookish publishing world. Um, so you have all the big publishers there. It's above Comic Con in the winter Comic Con. So it is, Comic Con is below us and then we're upstairs. Um, and there are, I've been going for years. And if you, if you look back on my videos, or if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you'll have seen that I have been posting little mini vlogs um, for years of me going to Yelp and my Yelp haul, what books I buy. Um, I've been going for a reader as as a reader for years and I absolutely love the event. Um, so I was very, very excited when um, this event is was coming up. Um, so yeah, this week I reached 100 subscribers on YouTube, which is absolutely amazing. Um, I hope it continues to grow. It's been slowly growing for a while. Um, I've always used this channel as like a little outlet just for my writing progress and you, if you've seen my videos you might have seen me do many vlogs over the years where I've talked about my books, my querying journey when I used to query literary agents. Um, I go for walks in the woodland areas where I used to live with my parents. Um, I talked about NaNoWriMo. Um, I probably should do a video a while to explain why I'm not doing NaNoWriMo anymore. I don't think I did that. Maybe I did. I'm not sure. Um, but I, yeah, I've done that for years. But I'm not. I no longer participate in NaNoWriMo. But I may do other challenges that are slightly similar. Um, you may have seen all the the, the rabbit hole that is uh, them talking about AI. Um, but I started doing. I think I did it last year. But then stuff was coming out of the woodwork a little bit with that. Um, that wasn't very nice and it was I think the AI is recent thing but last year there was something else you might remember I don't know um there was a lot of uh, quite a dark subject I guess related to it um and a lot of people some of my author friends and myself decided to stop NaNoWriMo for that reason um but it is I I love the idea of writing 50,000 words in a month. If I can do it, it's a very big challenge. I love to push myself. Um, but I also have a full-time job. <laughs> and um, I'm trying to write and publish books. But, um, yeah. Um, okay. So, I'll kind of go into what's happening recently because things have been very busy. I have the outcome in this weekend, next weekend, which I'm really excited about. I am currently writing a sequel to this book. Um, so, this one's The Girl Behind the Glass. The sequel will be called The Girl on the Glass Throne, um, and it's a dark retelling of Snow White, but the second one will have like Cinderella vibes in it a little bit as well, and it will start to sort of branch off into the other fairy tales that will eventually come out, and all these characters will have their own stories, and it will be all these different retellings set in the same world. Um, so in this world you've got four kingdoms, then they are seasonal inspired, like 
you know, summer, winter, autumn, spring. Um, and book one is set in the Winter Kingdom because it's Snow White. And uh, book two, kind of from this one, goes into the Summer Kingdom. Um, and then other books, in the, you know, come into the other kingdoms as well. So I'm trying to branch out and show as much of this world as I can. Um, so that is what I'm working on right now, is the sequel to this one. And I'm about 16 chapters in. Yeah, 16 chapters in into that one which I'm really excited about. This little baby is my debut novel and um, the second book in this series is very soon to be coming out called Songbird Air um, and it is another pirate adventure with another character in it as well, um, another pirate character. Um, but it also, my Android character, female android, also goes off into another kingdom, the kingdom that came before the Steel City, so that's really exciting. And her love interest, um, her relationship with her love interest grows a lot, which is, you know, really interesting, uh, hopefully interesting. <laughs> um, so if you like the love interest from book one, there's not much romance in this one, but it develops into book two, so that is what I'm hoping people will enjoy. Um, will be four books in the series. I've got book three planned out. I have a kind of an idea what I want to do for book four, but I'll probably get more planning done when I come into book three. But because I am on book two of the other series right now, um, that is my main focus right now, but this one, I do have planned the sequel after the one that's coming out. <laughs> so book three in the series out of four books. And then I'll probably have a prequel as well, so which will be like the evil queens um, in the series' um, villain origin story, I guess, it's a way. Um, so that'll be called Cruel Queen as well. So I'm excited. So yeah, lots and lots of things in the works. And then I also have other fairy tale retellings that I want to write in this one. So that is the plan. But I also work full time. Um, <laughs> I work in a school, so... That means I get the school holidays, which is more writing time for me, which is always exciting. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to anybody who has supported me over the years on my channel, because I've had this thing since I was in the second year of uni, started creative writing, um, 2014. <laughs> so I'm literally in my 10 year YouTube anniversary, which is insane to think about. And I know that a lot of people um, that might have been following subscribed or following that entire time so <laughs> thank you so much if you have um i hope you've enjoyed my videos i've had a couple of comments recently saying that my videos have been helpful to people to other people that are starting to do writing which is really really nice to hear obviously it's very i love to give encouragement to people um and yeah if please do feel free to reach out like if you have any questions about publishing from someone that's done self-publishing already, um, maybe, or if you just want another talk, you know, another writer friend to talk to, feel free to reach out on Instagram. I am at aprilgrace1, um, or you can just send me a message on here, or whatever. I think my email address is linked in my description on YouTube too. So feel free to send me a message on there if you've seen my YouTube videos and you want to just want to chat. I am, you know, I have no problems with that. Um, I like meeting new people, I'm a writer, I like meeting new writers and finding the potential new readers for my lovely books. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for all of the love and support over the years and I am excited for whatever is going to come next.